Now, you guys are probably wondering who this game mana dude is. So basically, in this game, I was talking about two. Um, if you play StarCraft 1, like the original, not, not the one that, well, the one that came out in 96, 97. I think there's different options of choices, I think, in the original game. I'm not quite sure. I've only saw a story so far video talking about the entire game from beginning to end, leading up to StarCraft 2. Um, but in this mission, you can choose between Technicality or basically purifying them, basically. And this is, you can probably read right here, it says, Protect the colony, side with the Terran refugees against the Protoss, this will anchor the Protoss, provide Dr. Hansen more time to search for a cure. Regardless of whether she finds a cure, Dr. Hansen's efforts will lead to new breakthroughs in the research. Okay, right here. Purify the colony, side with your old allies, the Protoss, against the Terran refugees. Dr. Hansen will see this as a betrayal, be acting to cleanse the colony of any infestation. Protoss have also agreed to share some of the knowledge and exchange for your help. I do wish in games that do this type of thing, where like you get breakthroughs and Zoe research, like what you do in this game. I do wish it was, well, it is a cosmetic and it is a difference in gameplay. But I do wish games that did do this more, that you had a bit more. Oh, I didn't know that actually. I am showing the recording stuff left. I'm sorry, I apologize. I do wish more games did this, whether it be uh, first person, RTS, whatever type of game genre they're doing, they get a choice. And then when it comes to sort of, like building research or like different sort of showcases, hang on. <coughs> Sorry about that. That I do wish it, um, I'm trying to think. Like, it does show you, like, there's different gameplay aspect between if you're picking Zoe research or Protoss research, there is gameplay differences. You know, you only can pick one or the other, you can't really pick both. Um, but I do wish when it comes to, like, Zoe research, uh, research stuff, like some of it, like they say the knowledge, I do wish they had like, with games that talk about, oh, here's a knowledge about this, here's a knowledge about that. I do wish there was like a lore, yeah, like a lore more behind it, like, oh, she finds new breakthroughs, like, oh, how did she discover this, and and the character like kind of explains behind the scenes type of things. You know, it would be more of an option, it would be more optional for the average player to really read about it, you know? But imagine you didn't play like a sector of it. Like, okay, she lead, she did this to lead to new places. And what you had to do, Leah, with this character, like Dr. Hansen. Imagine playing, you do missions for her, of course, but Dr. Hansen's, once you acquire her. And I think it's the same in the full I'm not quite sure. But I do it with these two characters that you had different missions. Like, okay, she leads to new breakthroughs and started research. But now you gotta do this and this and this to get the new breakthroughs and stuff. Like, every extra content, basically. Um, most people don't like when, it, like, when it comes to like defending or destroying stuff. Most people like don't mind doing offense or defense, but when it comes to, like escort stuff, they don't. They're like, eh. So yeah, what I do is protect the colony because I want to try it out. So, you know, several dudes from the mothership. That little scene that you the summit being destroyed like that. I did play a game a couple years back where you had to like attack, you had like an attack wave or something like that coming off you, off the map to your left, to the west, sorry not west, east, uh, yeah. no I'm right, I think I'm right, yeah west of the map, and you had like an army of four, some of that, yeah you had like some boss or something like that attacking, um, some boss attacking uh, on the map from building base, and you're trying to get enough pieces to rebuild a guard, and aid the, in case you want to mission is, it's from aid to the mythology. It's from the base game, I think it is. The base of the giant one. I think mean, it's the base game, but Age of Mythology, for example. And I quite enjoyed that. That was quite interesting. You're doing something similar to this, but the difference is... <coughs> the difference in this mission, you're trying to get to the actual thing that's powering up the device, the machine, the uh, purifier, in order to destroy it, I think. So yeah. Let's go. Um, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna save... I'm gonna name this. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna save it as safe haven. Yeah, that'll work. Oops. Close enough. I'm, yeah, I'm not. My spelling is not accurate, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. 
ilyen bűnöd van, mint ő. Na, szóval a lényeg, hogy nem tudom, hogy a lényeg lesz. 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 Okay, we got new armor upgrades. Second tier. Oh, nice! And now we got two tier, tier two of for the engineering base. So we our units be better and more stronger and armory too. So that's good to know. I think we actually have. Yeah, so this is the armory. This is engineering bay, and this is the metro. Thing. I don't think we actually have the. I actually don't know what it's even going to be at, honestly. Oh, there it is. No, oh, it's under there first. Okay, that's what it's doing. It's under there first. Yeah, but they have nobody in there, basically. Eh? Now this is going to be pretty cool to just do. And you press the, the, the D on your keyboard and they change into a ground here. But this is what they're talking about. So you're gonna have to go like across along oh, maybe they're going that way actually. Yeah, maybe they're going the other way, I'm not sure. Oh, we're really going either way, we're really going to Oh, I didn't know that. So you go to two of these. I did not know that. Now it's kinda of silly. Are they tier two or tier one? They're not tier two. So it is actually possible, in case you're wondering, to actually get these AI and stuff. But they didn't want to do this stuff actually too. 
Oh, well, that's kind of a little late for the party. <laughs> it is quite difficult. I'm not sure what difficulty. I'm not sure what setting I'm on for this game. If it's on let me see, gameplay, oh, it's not even on normal. Oops. Well, I'm gonna put, make sure I set that. I did not know it was on fast mode. That was on normal, but now I know. Yeah, don't do what I just did. Yeah, don't do what I just did. It's really the micro management. Like you have to do this and this and this to really get your units out fast and like. Get your upgrades going, so you'd be good. Like get your like to make your upgrades going as fast as you can, and get your upgrades going, so you can at least better protect yourself in this game because it's not exactly easy. Now, where it's possible to actually stop the uh, the save these units over here, like these cloning units, I don't really know. So, still paying attention to some of these moving ain't helping us out or anything. So yeah. So let. Oh, okay, it's F10. I know it's like someone about to let reload this at the beginning. And try again. I'm getting you wondering I'm gonna leave this in. Like I'm gonna definitely leave this in. I've located the Protoss Nexuses that are channeling power to the purifier shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the purifier. And let all the units in the code up. Uh let's see. I'm just gonna use Fighting company. I want to try these guys, these Goliath ones, when we get 300. I want to try those guys, yeah, well, they're. In the rear with the gear. Roger. How well they are performing game, like how well they actually are. And you do see the pop top right here. This is your population cap. This is your gas, and this is how many men you have, or Vespian, as they call in this game. You have to keep an eye on this. You do have to, like, build more um, supply depots over here in order to. Uh, Sir, the purifier has arrived and it's on the move. It's either get more Vespian gas than it is going to get anything else in the game. I'm going to see where I'm at right now. This game's pretty fun. I played a game like I played. Blizzard's games, I played Warcraft 3 and Frozen Throne. I played those games a couple years back. I never um, played the original. I have like a, co a physical copy, I think. Yeah, like a physical older copy of um, Warcraft 1, one like 1 or 2. I think it's like the first one. That's like the DOS version, I think it is. And I don't really know if I'm going to actually play it nowadays. So, yeah. Oh, if you want to do this, you click on this, you like click all of them and press R, you them all to drop down. I'm gonna get more minerals collecting as fast as I can. I think it's still doing that. Yeah, it's still doing it. Why is it? I don't know why it's doing a fast game mode, so you don't want. I'd rather do, I'd rather do the actual regular. Um, I bet I do the regular game speed than the fast game speed. Mm 
Yeah, I see something like that. You do get like upgrades pretty quickly here. Probably nice to make it enough <laughs> actual like minimals in order just to do what I need to do. If you're gonna just pump out more SUVs, really. See, when you get up to 21, you're pretty much good on the workers. You can do workers here or there, but you also get more rescue in too. Like, so take an SUV, run a couple of SUVs here and there, and then get them going. But I definitely want to try the Goliaths, and let's see it again. There's probably a way to do this much faster. I'm doing this on the normal difficulty, I'm not doing this on the easiest difficulty. Which I might imagine if I was doing this on like the easiest difficulty, but I think it's just a normal, or the, yeah, I think it's a normal difficulty. I think I would probably be pretty good, actually. I'm just trying to upgrade my guys. Trying to slowly get into it. Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. This better be good. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. Yeah, you get like multiple units. But I only get these guys, I only get the Spartan company. Also, as you can tell, those units are pretty quick. They get there pretty darn quickly. Guy down here fast enough, I can be golden. Hopefully, that's where we're going. I thought he was gonna end up building like Goliaths and all that, and crazy, that's where he's going. Oops, and you guys are retreat once they come back. Guys, to build an armory, which is going to get going. You always, want to get, you, you always want to get these building units, like your second armory going, and these upgrades going as fast as you can. It's really a micro balance, so you can have these units be good. I'm going to take is one of these units, build a, build, 
can't really build it up here, you can only build it like up here. Like right there. I try that. And see how well that works out. So yeah. Let's see what we're gonna build. Oops, put a duty guard on here. Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. Which one is the one that is already empty? Interesting. I'm gonna save it. But you can build multiple of these, these things right here. You only get like two, you can get two upgrades going at once. You don't have to build just one engineer bay or one army, you can get two of them going at once. Like two, two of them going at once, you just gotta, you just got to, um, I love finicky in this game, fortunately. Where's my SU? All you're really doing is run these little nexuses, which is up here, and that's it. And there's nothing powering these things at all, it's quite interesting, honestly. So now we did that one, now we're on the next one. Yeah, it's just powering up, and it's slowly trying to power up. You see this little bar thing, the way it says a purifier? It's planning packing out, it's charging up. You can also select your army too. That's what, I like about, that's what I like about this game, or I love about it, is that you can select both your citizens or your resource gatherers or builders and your um, and your Killing these guys. I see it's so easy to take these in now when you get like tier one, tier two. Once you get max once max all your units out, you little under like I got here. They'll eventually like, we're gonna leave. And then take all those supplies. And then I leave. It's a pretty simple mission actually, I didn't realize how easy it is, but it's quite, it's quite cool actually how easy it is, honestly. Let's get some enemies going. Oh, you can't, oh, so once you get like two of these other upgrades going, you can't, okay, I see. Yeah, so you only build like whatever, whatever upgrade you're doing, that's it, pretty much. So I mean, these two upgrades going at once. Another army down here. We got more supply block. I'm gonna build over here. If we can build over here more. I didn't have to build up here. So 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. I hope. Let me know what y'all think. Like, I'm quite enjoying it myself. Yeah, just slowly head towards where you're at. Uh, I do have another unit. I need, like... I see a few of you guys actually doing this. I can get more um, gas. <laughs> so once you get these units upgraded, that's it. You're pretty much done. But okay, units upgraded, done. So all you need is probably what I got right here, which is just some marines, some more pigs, some Vikings, like three Vikings. This party company, which is an elite unit, two minutes, and a devil dog. You might need a little bit more minutes. So I'm gonna do that. Get a little bit more minutes. Get a little bit more Vikings. And. Um, yeah, that'll work. Oh, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Actually, <laughs> we were still here. I thought he was gone or something. I'm trying to build up a little army back here just in case of defense mainly. So once we get these units fully equipped with tier 2, I think we should be golden. Yeah, because it's look, we're almost done. We're about halfway there. So once you get the tier 1 upgrade, then you can go up to tier 2. This is the only mission I know of so far that lets you get tier 2 upgrades. So I was doing this tier 1, which is. So it's to spend the tier upgrades, it's tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. In this game, in the story campaign, you get up to tier. In the story campaign, you get up to tier one, two, and three, and you get to pick like different buildings, like different choices in the game, really. So, oh, they got a Goliath. Interesting. Get that thing quickly before it kills us. Yeah, then we got a base up here too, so we get more units. So you can actually expand pretty quickly. If you're fast enough and you're efficient in these RTS games, you can actually expand out pretty quickly. Start attacking. It might be a steward actually. I have my guys by attack. So my only about to show up here in a few seconds. There they are, guys. Well, we're a little bit late. The party. Sweet. 
think we did it, guys. Yeah, that's when all the upgrades done, actually. So now we gotta head here. I don't know. The, I don't know if one of these things turned off already. Yeah, we had to over here. We can actually kill this thing once and for all. I don't know. The tier upgrades are already going. So yeah, then we got like tier. Yeah, level two, level two. Yep, damage dealt. In addition, yeah, hopefully we get these upgrades going. I'd like to have this thing. I like to have them fully maxed out before before we uh, really destroy this base because I'll be able to destroy this nexus and that's it. But I'd like to get this upgrade done. I don't know if it'll be fast. I don't know if it's going to get done in time before this fear fire gets us. I don't really know. That's a problem. We might have to go with what we got of this tier 1 right now. Some of our units. It was, wait, I thought we were tier 2 on our Marines. Oh, we did too, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's all tier 2, it's just these guys are not tier 2 yet. That's kind of, I was hoping we would be tier 2 by then. Honestly. I was open. I was open, but we might be to get to tier 2. Let's see, get that one going, so I'm gonna do that. Get that one going. Because while this one single thing is going, you can get the other one going. And see, like I said, you get like multiple, you get like each of these upgrades. They only cost about what? Uh, V. Yeah, 150, 100, and 125 each. So it's not too bad, but. I mean, we can get this upgrade done before it, get, it gets to us. That'd be great. Uh, we may not be able to. But it's gonna take some time for that thing to actually get up to max charge, so. I think we're almost at max <laughs> output. Or I think it's like 200 on the map, I think. Let's see, let's... Where we at? Eh, almost at the max up we throw it. Which is just the armor. And yeah, the ship damage, which is not too bad. Yeah, this thing's charging up right now, so... Yeah, I think, yeah, so we're max, well, right now, we're max population cap right now. You always wanna get, when playing these missions, when you have these upgrades, you always wanna get your upgrades going as soon as possible, and get your army built up. <coughs> Sorry. As much as possible because due to the simple fact it does take some time. It seriously does. I think we're gonna go in with a little yeah, gap no. We can't wait any longer once that thing gets going, that's it. And we're pretty much maxed out. We can like throw anything on this map right now. Well we're not maxed out, maxed out, but we're pretty much at tier two, tier one to tier two mix, so We can go to all these little army units and everything and just go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, see, look at that. Boom, 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 dead. Oh, that was quick. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That is so cool. We gotta hurry and get this thing destroyed before it kills us. It's open our upgrades and attack the way they're gonna be done. Yeah, charging with planet crack right now again. 
I don't know what happens if it does that. Oh, it charged its energy back up to 123 right now. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's coming towards yeah, it's coming towards us, of course, which makes sense. It makes sense that we're coming towards us eventually. One, two upgrade left, and that's it. I was hoping we maxed out way before this thing get to us, but now we just attack it. Like now we just attack it. Oh yes. Oh, I did not. Oh, I was not expecting this at all. Plus, it's like half a million target to where we where they were at. I don't have any more barracks or anything. Sure Look at that, we're just annihilating this thing. Like, boom, 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 boom. We don't even care. And gone. This thing is destroyed. Boom. Gear fire is destroyed. Y'all, we did it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, we man. Yes, man. We did. Hallelujah. Uh. We did it, y'all. We protected the colony. Now you're probably wondering. These, you shall not pass my precious. That's references. You shall not pass my precious. References. You shall not pass my precious. Sorry. Okay, now I'm talking. The music. You shall not pass my precious. Precious. These two achievements here, this one and this one, are references to Lord of the Rings from years ago. Um, so yeah, these achievements are just achievements and you don't get like no additional rewards or skins or anything else. It would kind of cool you get like extra content, like extra down the scenes, something like that. I think there might be a way on the official on StarCraft 2, it is free to play. StarCraft 1, you can buy the remastered version, I think StarCraft 1, I think is free to play, I think. I'm not quite sure how it works exactly, I don't understand it. But yeah, they should not pass, you to see three colony ships and the safe haven mystery on normal difficulty, that's easy. Um... The last one to save two colonies outposts in the safe haven mission on hard difficulty. I don't. I've done these achievements, so these achievements are almost a part. The harder difficulty achievements are almost a pain in the butt to do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope. Tell me what you guys think. What? Uh, so, like, tell me what y'all think about my YouTube video, how the audio was, the quality, the content. You know, um, I did find out, unfortunately, I do want to apologize for my Fallout 76 YouTube video I did earlier, like a day or two ago that I didn't know my PC was drowning out my voice, so I do want to apologize about that. Um, currently, right now, I have to look up a way to fix that. I did it. AM, the software I'm using, the AMD Rhydon Adrenaline, AMD Adrenaline software, does have a way to do that. I've taken care of that, in, but I do like an older version. I don't know I'm going to stop and install an older version, unfortunately, so yeah. Um, hopefully I can find a built-in Windows uh, built-in Windows version to get rid of the background noise, like the actual audio on my PC. That would be great for me. And have better audio quality for y'all, and a better audio quality for me in general to help out. To help me out, myself, for all y'all and for me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys love this video. I hope you guys like, subscribe, if you subscribe, click the hit, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon, get, get notified of all videos that put the all notifications so you can so you can find out when I'm making these videos. Sorry, click the subscribe icon, click the all bell notification so you always are notified when I upload a YouTube video. Any I don't know what kind of content my YouTube channel is gonna be about right now it's just right now currently my YouTube channel is just about right now gameplay. Um I do wanna do different genres of games I never played. I'm not sure I'm gonna do one tonight. I'll probably do one tomorrow. Uh, we would like to do a little bit of Fallout 76 though, also. 
because I only have until I have about two more days until 12 p.m. for Fallout 76. But I would have to find out if after the game, after the free to play is over for that game, if it um. If you, someone buys a game, you can pretty much basically play it. So yeah. But yeah. So like, wait, sorry. So if you buy Fallout 76, this requires a subscription to keep playing the game in order to put the game online. If not, once you buy it once and that's it, you play it free. It's free to play it online. Great. If there's a subscription behind it, I don't want to play. I don't want to buy the game at all. Period. Honestly, a Fallout 76 or any game that does that, because it's just a paywall thing for me. But yeah, it's just a paywall block. Because I played the vegan, it was free to play. And you basically get to like, so to explain this, it was Wizard 101, years ago when I was young, years ago. You get to a certain point in the game in a story mode, and so what happened was when you got to that point in that game, you had to pay actual, you had to pay actual real money to play more of the content of the game. If Fallout 76 does the same thing to me, when I got to buy it, if I'm going to do research on if you can, if you buy the game, if you have to play online, if, you know, as a subscription each month, like World, like World of Warcraft, or any other MO that's similar to it, like that, then I won't buy the game at all someday, period. I won't buy the game at all, period. If not, if you like, want to buy it once, you can play as much as you like, and it'll cost you anything extra, there's no subscription or, yeah, subscription service, like monthly or anything, or yearly. I'm good with that, you know? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great and awesome, uh, for me it's night time, almost night time, so I hope you guys have an awesome day, morning, evening, afternoon, or night. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you got hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is McFluffy two six five signing out. Y'all be good. Y'all have a great sorry, I'm not used to doing this, I'm a little nervous. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys loved the video. Comment down oh, oh there's one more thing I've to say. Comment down below what you guys liked, loved, enjoyed or disliked about this video. If you leave a like, please tell me why. If you leave a dislike, please tell me what please tell me why. If you um didn't watch the video, like if you only watched some of it or a little bit, please tell me what I can do better as a YouTuber. I'm just doing this more as a like a hobby. I'm not doing this to really be famous on YouTube or anything. I'm doing it just because I enjoy it and I love playing video games and I just like enjoy content. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers who've been doing this. So yeah, hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.